हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इकोलॉजी एंड एनवायरनमेंट इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज बायोम्स सो व्हाट आर बायोम्स बायोम्स आर द मेन कम्युनिटी टाइप्स व्हिच हैव द वाइड ज्योग्राफिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड ईच एरिया इज करेक्टराइज बाय अ स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हॉट क्लाइमेट इन केस ऑफ डेजर्ट्स और वी कैन से कोल्ड क्लाइमेट इन केस ऑफ टुंद्रा एंड स्पेसिफिक फ्लोरा एंड फोना ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू ओडम बायोम इज अ डिस्टिंक्ट लैंड हैबिटेट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ डिफरेंट बायोम्स ऑन द अर्थ इज बेस्ड ऑन द फंक्शन ऑफ द क्लाइमेट एंड सोयल दैट इज वट टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट दैट पोजेस एंड वट टाइप ऑफ सोयल विच लीड्स टू द फ्लोरा कंडीशन अकॉर्डिंगली देन टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेसिपिटेशन प्ले अ वाइटल रोल इन डिटरमाइनिंग द काइंड ऑफ द बायोम दैट इज इन केस ऑफ डेजर्ट्स देर इज लो प्रेसिपिटेशन एंड हाई टेम्परेचर in case of tundra also there is um, low temperature and less precipitation and that is mainly in the form of snow the major climax communities which form the basic matrix of the biome are known as associations so what are climax communities these are the final stage of communities that are formed in an ecological succession we can say the last stage of uh, communities of any species of plants okay or animal which have established itself in that environment then the biomes have developed vegetation and the fauna are known as the biotic zone so first of all we are going to start the terrestrial biomes in that today's topic is tundra biome so the word tundra means a barren land or a hostile territory various characteristics of a tundra biome so extremely cold climate low biotic diversity why low biotic diversity that is of flora and fauna because there is uh, less temperature less climatic conditions to uh, live adapt themselves then simple vegetation structure was there not much diversified trees were there energy and nutrients in the form of dead organic materials only not in the form of fresh material large population oscillations that is fluctuations are seen that is in the change in the population okay the structure then limitation of drainage short season of growth and reproduction that is only for a short time we can say in a summer only the season of growth and reproduction was there so types of tundra so there are two types of tundra first is arctic tundra and second is the alpine tundra so in arctic tundra it is located in northern hemisphere encircling the north pole and extending the south to the coniferous forest of the taiga then it is known for its cold desert like conditions average when winter temperature was minus 34 degrees celsius and in summer temperature was like 3 to 12 degrees celsius which enable this biome to sustain the life yearly precipitation including the melting snow is 15 to 25 cm only a layer of permanently frozen subsoil is known as permafrost was present there so what is a permafrost so permafrost is a ground that continuously remains below 0 degree celsius for for two or more years then alpine tundra so it is located on the mountains throughout the world at high altitude where trees cannot grow so growing season is approximate 180 days here there vegetation consists of shrubbery and small leafy plants and not large trees to the climate of tundra so main season are winter and the summer spring and fall are only for short period then temperature so in winter below 3 minus 34 degree celsius in summer 3 to 12 degree celsius last only about 2 months soil what is the nature of soil so during the short summer the top layer of the soil may thaw just long enough to let plants grow and reproduce just only for this purpose so below the soil is the tundra's permafrost so trees can't send their roots down there so that the soil is very low in nutrients and minerals except for when the soil can obtain nutrients from the animal droppings only so soil has this uh, source of the obtaining nutrients then the poor soil quality also contributes to a short growth 
period of only 45 to 90 days only rainfall and precipitation so tundra is basically like a desert when it comes to rainfall only about 6 to 10 inch of rainfall that is only mostly in the form of snow fall each year in spite of low annual rainfall arctic arctic lands may be very wet underfoot because the moisture evaporates slowly and the drainage conditions are poor why moisture evaporates very slowly because here temperatures are very low not high so when temperature is very low evaporation rate is also low then vegetation so vegetation is limited here there are only about 1700 different species these are mostly shrubs sages mosses lichens and grasses heaths and the perennial forbs etc Plants must adapt to the cold, dark conditions of the tundra as the sun does not rise during the winter. And another conditions of plant is that is growing close to the ground because beneath the snow is the we can say permafrost so plants or trees cannot move their roots deep down in the frozen ice then having shallow roots to absorb the limited water resources and trees grows less than one minute meter height that is their height is also very low then animal adaptations were there like first is hiding so animals hide under the ice as fox lemming they make their habitat and are adapted to survive then estivation or hibernation so the adverse conditions are created due to the snow as rotation Force, diastasid, hydrophilid beetles hide in the ice and when favorable conditions appear they become again active. Insulation. So the power of insulation due to the development of fur, hairs, wings, feathers is possible thus they save the heat of their body for the metabolic activity then migration so in winter some animals migrate to the south at the hot places it is mostly noted in the birds so these are all the adaptations that animals of a tundra habitat or tundra biome possess for their survival then another adaptation is colorless mostly animals are white in color for example polar bear so bright colors are absent in tundra animals thus they are protected from the enemy that is they are not easy to identify as they camouflage with the ice as ice is also white in color and is easy for them to escape then the examples of the animals living in tundra so polar bear musk ox, ox caribou white fox arctic ground squirrel arctic hare and reindeer so this is a diagram showing the situation at the poles that is the influence of the sun rays and its relation with the distance as we can see here the distance is very large so sun rays can't reach it at we can say easily or effectively and this is a short distance near the equator so sun rays can reach here easily so this is the situation where our tundra biome lies and this is another diagram that is a food web in the tundra biome so here first layer is a permafrost that is ground that is permanently frozen here life forms if any they are probably dormant in nature then second layer that is they have uh, water saturated ground small shallow lakes were there some bacteria or nematodes were there okay then primary producer stage will come that is tiny flowering plants grasses sages willows and lichens four inches or less in height their height was also less then primary consumers that is musk oxen insects and lemmings were there they have some sort of adaptations also then small predators that is snowy owl and arctic fox so this is a food web in case of tundra bio and in case of map world map if we can see this is the a these are the areas where tundra biome is present that is in these areas and these area as you can see so this is all about the tundra biome topic hope you like this video so if you like this video please do subscribe my channel